Hi YouTube, it's Mr. Baumgarten here, and this is going to be the first in a series of videos on using the Python uh, web server package known as Flask, which is a fairly quick and easy uh, tool to get up and running, uh, certainly for the uh, more basic web applications. So if you've wanted to build your own web server or build your own web app, uh, Flask is definitely the tool that I use, and it's the one that I recommend uh, playing around with. Um, it certainly has a much easier, uh, a much lower barrier to entry than something like uh, Django, for instance. Uh, to work through this series of videos, you are going to need to have the Flask and the Pillow packages installed. So on Windows machines, pip install Flask Pillow if you've got admin access. You might need the hyphen hyphen user if you are um, running in the console without admin access, and on the Mac. Uh, sudo super user do pip3 install flask pillow or use your package installer from your uh, favorite editor if you're using something like PyCharm. Alright, so uh, if you need a. So I will assume now that you have your packages installed, and if you need assistance with that, then I suggest you watch my deep dive on how installing different packages later on. So let's get underway and we will install import from our package first of all. So from Flask, import Flask, lowercase f on the first, uppercase f on the second. And I'm just going to create a project called app from my Flask class. And I am going to provide a parameter of underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. Oh, two underscores. Okay. Uh, that's just a convention with Flask. Um, I'm not going to get into the technical details of why, just do it for now. <laughs> and uh, I, I might get into a deep dive of it later on. One thing I will briefly explain is the use of decorators. So we have this Flask object here called app, and we've got a bunch of functions attached to it called route, uh, being the one that we're about to use. But I'm going to put this at symbol in front of it, which turns this into a decorator. And what on earth is a decorator? Again, I'm gonna do a separate deep dive video on decorators later on. Um, but for now, hello from Flask, oops. App.run, let me just finish quickly typing some of this up. Local host, port, I'm gonna to set to 8080, and I'm gonna set the bug to true. All right, so this is our very first web server all up and running. Uh, so what is a decorator? For now, just think of it as if we are taking the, the route function inside our app and we are passing main as a, the main function that I've written here as a parameter into this function. So think of it as if it kind of looked like this, app route right, uh, slash, and we are passing main in as a parameter to it's not quite what's going on but it's you know it's close enough for our purposes for today all right um the the function that we are sending in to uh, the route uh, to the decorated function must be on the very next line after the decorator command so that then you can't have spaces or anything like that there all right so that's what that is Localhost is an internationally agreed um, name on the uh, on the network to represent your own personal machine, and then eighty eighty is just a convention that people use for what port number to specify when you are developing your own websites, uh, because eighty is the internationally agreed port number for live websites. So if you go HTTP www.google.something, uh, uh, then you are asking for traffic off port 80. Uh, so HTTP basically gets converted into port 80. Uh, so if, if if your computer is like an apartment building, and so this is the address to get to your apartment building on the internet, uh, the port number is, lo is like the individual apartments within your apartment building. So it's kind of like your sub address. And so you say, because you might have several different web servers running on your machine, or you might have other servers. Um, you could 
you know, have a uh, have a mail server, you could have an FTP server, you could have whatever else up and running. And so this is a way of specifying, okay, this is the particular um, server that I'm wanting to send the traffic to. So if I open up a web page, oops, I need to get this up and running, hit play. All right, and I go to my web browser and I just type in 127.0.0.1 uh, port 8080 and I get hello from Flask. All right, so I could have also just typed in localhost port 8080 and I also get the hello from Flask. So you just need to make sure that this matches. Now, the the other thing, if you want what your website to be accessible by other computers, at the moment it's only accessible on my own computer, which is a bit of a security feature, I guess. Uh, but if I want it to be able to be accessed by other computers within your own home, for instance, uh, one, as long as you know the IP address of this machine, then uh, you change your host to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and that will attach Flask to every network card that you have on your machine, which means um, you'll be able to access it from other computers. Okay, so uh, let's create a second route just to kind of show you what is going on here. So we can have second endpoint, um, page two. Let's just call this page two and return. This is page two. It's all very exciting. If I come now to my website, all right, and I put in a page two on the end here, I get this is page two. Uh, I can even include HTML in the, into this string if I want. Let's uh, put in a header one tag. And if I come back to my website and refresh, there we go, header one, this is page two. And if I get rid of the page two bit, we'll see that the main page is also still available. So there you go, you're up and running with your very first Flask server. We'll take it further than this, don't you worry about that in the next video. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.